Hey, what's happening, guys? Today is my birthday. 49 years old. I can't believe it. In my head, I'm 21. In my knees, I'm 49. Anyway, you guys remember about a week ago, I did a video with this pie supply and hub from 52pie.com and the nice little screen you know we put the raspberry pi on there and we made ourselves a little porta pie system well we're going to do kind of the same thing today except with the raspberry pi zero and we're going to make a portable retro game system so let's get started doing that okay our first step is going to be to mount the pi zero to this board and luckily the holes do seem to line up. So that is always a plus. All I've got to do now is find the right screws. Which I think I have right here. So, as you can see, only two of the screws are going to fit. But I think for our purpose, It'll work out okay. There's not going to be any real stress on this. So we'll get this nice and screwed in here. And now we're going to use the micro USB to regular USB cables that were provided with this hub to hook everything up. All right, so the first thing we need to be aware of is that our Pi only has the one output for data, USB. And then we have the power in, which is this one here. You can see it's marked power in. So if we look at the hub down here, we have power output. So hopefully these are going to be long enough. Power output. power input and so far so good so that gives us one two three four to use then we need a uh, micro USB to USB hmm I don't think I have that exact cable here but I do think we can make it work. So until I can get that exact cable, what I'm going to do is just take the other USB-A to micro USB, plug it into this micro USB to USB-A hub, and then we'll connect that like that, and that like that. Now I know this is kind of unwieldy for now, but uh, once I order a cable, I think it'll work a lot better. So our final thing is going to be video. Okay, with my Pi Zero kit, I got the uh, micro HDMI to HDMI cable. So we can hook that up to our screen. And lastly, we need to power our screen. So again, I have a uh, nice little cable here, which we'll plug in to one of our ports here. And hopefully it will provide the power that we need for the screen. Now, yeah, I know. Let's see, can I zoom out here? We got a lot of cables flapping in the breeze. But um, we're going to take care of that with an enclosure in the second part. 
let's see if we can get it all together and get it working. All right, our first step is going to be to download the Raspberry Pi uh, RetroPie image from the website, you know, RetroPie. But while that's downloading, I'm going to remove this large HDMI cable because it's got a better solution. What I've got here is a shorter cable. If I can hook to my headphone there. I got a shorter cable. It's only a little over a foot long. The only problem is it's regular HDMI and the Zero uses the micro HDMI. Well, uh, luckily, my good friends at Banggood sent me this lovely mini HDMI to regular HDMI adapter so we can plug that in. And that's going to eliminate a lot of that cable flop. So while the uh, RetroPie image is downloading, let's figure out how we want to put this together. We've already got some, some height here. And if we look at that from top down, we're almost at an inch and a half there. So if I put this screen on top of here, then we're going to be looking at you know, over an inch and a half. Uh, that's going to be about 40 millimeters. Pardon the train. So what I'm thinking is mounting them like this with our hub and our pie on the bottom and the screen on top and what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to knock off the total height on this to about an inch and three quarters and that's going to give us a total overall height or length or width or whichever measurement you want to call this let's say five and a half inches by okay so five and a half inches square by about an inch and three quarters deep let me grab a, a pad here And where is my Kugelschreiber? So we're going to end up having something like this. So this is 5.5, 5.5, and this. Ah, oh, pardon my sniffles. This would be 1.75. Then we need to know the opening for the screen, which is going to be 4 and 3 quarter by 3. So our screen opening here. Gonna be something like this. And that's gonna be four and three quarter by three. This here area will probably be blank. And then we'll have our ports down here. Now I haven't done this before. I haven't put together and 3D printed a retro gaming system, so if you guys have any steps or suggestions that I should take in order to do this, to make this more, what's the word I'm looking for, um, homogeneous, more, more better. I want to make it more better. 
So if you got any suggestions on how to make it more better, uh, leave it in the comments below. All right, I think our RetroPie is just about done downloading, so I'm going to burn it onto a micro SD, and we'll install it. All right, here's the RetroPie image. I'll put that in there. And make sure everything is turned on. And see what we get. So far, so good. We got the full screen up. Everything seems to be powered. Okay, so this might take a couple minutes and I'm not going to force you to watch it. We'll be back when she's booted. Actually, that went uh, a lot faster than I thought it would. It took about 10 seconds. Although we seem to be hanging here. No, we'll give it a minute. Okay, there we go. I guess it's not done. So we'll come back again. All right, that took about another 30 seconds. Maybe it's done this time. Yes, it's done. So all we need to do now is put in a gamepad, and we're good to go. I'm not going to make you watch me configure RetroPie. You've seen it done before. The point of this video was we now have RetroPie on a Raspberry Pi Zero and powered from a battery so we can make it portable. And that's going to be it for this part of the video. Because it's my birthday and all. And I want cake. So, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.